Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Bench Wire podcast, episode 23. Jordan number, you know, pretty cool. LeBron number. Nah, screw LeBron. <laughs> He's hurt. Um, but yeah, today we're going to talk about free agency and our reactions to it. We're going to go down by all the 32 NFL teams and highlight their best signings, and we're going to give them all a grade. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this podcast. If you do, like it, this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and also listen on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. We're on those platforms as well, if you didn't know. But yeah, let's get into it. Make sure that you guys go ahead, Ooh, get a snack. A snack. Get a drink. Yes. This is about to be I long. got my coffee. This is this Saturday is, morning. This is about to be a long video, uh, considering we're going to probably grade like a lot, of the, people. a lot of the people's signings, uh, and then obviously talk kind of about it, but... And some other NFL <clears throat> news out there, like Cam Newton. We'll get into I'm that. Not into that. Oh, we'll get into that. Don't so, worry. So we'll start with the AFC East. Uh, start with the champions of that division, the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills. So the first big signing. Uh, I don't know. I don't believe that these are in order. They're not in order. Uh, I think it's by position. It's probably yeah. It's by position. So we'll go with running back. They signed Damian Harris to a one-year deal. Uh, the obviously Patriots ex running back at this point. And a stone from the division rival. Yeah, uh, he's a little bit injury prone, but when he is healthy, he is a very solid back. Um, he was, I believe, a Pro Bowler at one point. Maybe not. I, I thought he had a really good season where he might have been, but possibly. Um, I don't know. The way I'm going to grade it is, you know what? On Madden, this is a move I make. Yeah, this is like an eighty. 85 overall running back so it's a solid running back i would say he's better than devin singletary so i think it's an upgrade there and yeah you stole him from your division rival the patriots and he's going to be a key part of your offense maybe go and draft a guy like b john robinson that's a possibility but he's a guy that can go in there and you know get you some touchdowns near the goal line and all that stuff but he's also he's just one of those guys he's a bruiser but he also has that electric speed so yeah. if you can stay healthy i mean uh, i would honestly look at this as a pretty big signing for the bills um but again it's if he stays healthy that's yeah. that's why it's a one-year deal um, now when we do these grades here are we grading each pick or let's overall grade each pick rather agency. than the entire thing so because okay. we can that'll probably go a little bit faster uh, because Damian Harris, I think, is just slightly injury prone, doesn't stay healthy. Obviously, if he was that amazing of a running back, he probably wouldn't have had to, you know, split the carries with Stevenson. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think I'm going to give it a solid B. I think that it has upside to go into the A's, depending on what his production yeah. is. But I, I would leave it at a B right now. I was going to give it a B minus simply because we don't know how good he's going to be in this offense yet. But I think just stealing him from the Patriots. The Patriots O-line was better. And Yeah, the Patriots O-line is better. And I don't know how well he's going to fit with this offense because they like to pass the ball a lot more than run the ball. So I don't know if he's going to be a perfect fit for this offense. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm giving it a B-. minus. All right. The next signing we're going to talk about, uh, they obviously signed uh, other guys, Deontay Hardy, Sherfield Edwards. We're not really going to get into those. You guys probably don't even know who that is. But uh, they did sign Connor McGovern. I believe he was on the Jets. Uh, he, he was on the Jets. To a three-year, $23 million contract. He's a Penn State alum, right? I believe he is. Yeah, we um, are, baby. <laughs> so he's going to take a spot in that interior uh, position, uh, or I guess interior guard position for the Bills. Um, yeah, I, I like it. It's a good signing. I mean, realistically, that was kind of where their, their struggles were. Um, and that's kind of why they struggled to run the ball. Because you can cut it to the outside all you want. But you need to be able to go up the middle at times, and they weren't able to do that. And once again, stealing from another division rival with the Jets here, they got Connor McGovern. I think he's going to be a good fit for them. They need some offensive line help, and that fills a need. So I would grade that a B plus. Yeah, I would probably grade it a B plus as well. Uh, I, you know, actually, I'll give it a B just because McGovern he's he's all right. He's not anything. Yeah, he's, I, he's not, not like an all pro Pro Bowl. Yeah, type so talent. I'll probably give it a B. I think it's just it's a solid move, kind of like the Damian Harris, except Damian Harris has the upside. I think that no matter what, the McGovern signing will stay a B. Yes. Uh, I guess we'll get to Matt Milano. He signed a two year extension with them. Uh, probably one of the more underrated linebackers in the league. He's very smart. Plays really. Really good football. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for that. Uh, yeah, I'm happy Matt Milano went back there. Two-year deal. It makes the Bills better, and he got some money out of it. So I think I would give it 
an A minus because he's one of their key contributors on that. Yeah, I give it an A minus. Yeah, for sure. Especially with uh, their loss of Edmonds. Um, this is a guy that they needed to keep no matter what. Yes. Uh, they brought back a Jordan Poyer two year deal. That's pretty good for them. Um, I thought he was going to go to the Dolphins. I heard that there was a he was actually trying to go to the Dolphins. Um, but yeah, he stays with the Bills. And he's going to hold down that safety position for them. Another one, I think he's just been a key contributor on that defense, so an A- minus as well. Yeah, Jordan Poyer, captain of the defense. He's going to be, like, the vocal leader on that defensive side of the ball. Now that Leslie Frazier's gone, he's going to be calling the plays and everything. Make sure everyone's up to speed. I like the signing coming back to Buffalo. I'm going to give it give it an A-. minus. All right. So we'll go to Miami Dolphins now. If you guys... Uh, have any signings for your teams that you think that we missed? Just leave it in the comments. We'll grade it if we see the comment. Uh, and just I know. doubt any Buffalo fans are listening right now. I'm saying any fans okay. throughout the rest of this video. But if, Buffalo, if missed, guaranteed, no one cares about them on, well, that listen to us at the moment. When we when we get there. All right, the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> they signed Mike White to a two-year deal to be to his backup. Um, or at the very least, just a good depth uh, quarterback for them. I think it's a good signing. Mike White, when he stepped into the Jets' offense, he looked pretty good. Obviously, with the Dolphins, he arguably has better weapons with Waddle and, and Tyree Kill. So if he ever had to step in, I think this was just kind of, you know, uh, insurance, just in case, because he can play some football. He's not going to be a pro bowler, franchise quarterback, but he can play football. Um so, yeah, I'd probably give that, just because it's a backup quarterback, I'm not going to give it a high grade. Exactly. It's probably going to be like a B again. I don't think it's a bad signing. Um, we'll probably get into like the lower, you know, like a C minus all that once we get some of the money that yeah, some yeah. of these people have made. But I think it's a cheap, affordable deal. Two years, you need a guy that you can rely on if Tua gets hurt because he got hurt three times this year. And I think Mike White, it's a good signing. Not a splashy signing, but it's a good signing. I would give it B minus. Yep. Uh, the Dolphins, they also went ahead and re-signed Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson. Uh, Raheem signed on a two-year $5.6 million deal, and Jeff Wilson re-signed on a two-year $6 million deal. Uh, pretty much the way I look at it is they re-signed Jeff Wilson after Raheem because they knew that Raheem is slightly injury-prone, <laughs> so mm -hmm. they need the depth there. Uh, both pretty cheap deals. They got them for not just this year, but the year after as well, so... I'd say pretty good signings. Um, I think at some point they're probably going to have to start looking to get an actual just, you know, consistent starter. Yeah. Um, Bell but then Cal again, type running back. Yeah, especially when they don't have the offensive line like that the Eagles have or something like that. Because once yeah. you have an O-line like the Eagles, it doesn't really matter then who's you back there. Then you can sign whoever you want. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to probably just grade them both the same. It's pretty much the same contracts, both good running backs. Uh, I really, I've been giving out a lot of Bs, but I'm just going to go B again. Because I don't think it hurts the team, and I don't think it takes them over the top. So I like these two signings. It fits the Mike McDaniel offense on how they run the ball. Both two-year deals, so they're both staying two years. Um, I would probably give it. I give it a B minus because like Raheem Mostert, you can't really rely on him as much. But Jeff Wilson, I like, so I give them both B minus. All right. Um, we're not going to talk about Braxton Berrios. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. He's Good more of a returner him, for them. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they re-signed Van Ginkle. They re-signed Duke Riley and just guys that were special teamers. And then also, I talk about that guy. Van Ginkle, he was, uh, I believe he was a starter for them at some point off the edge. But I guess we could talk about David Long. Signed a two-year $11 million yeah. deal. A uh, pretty cheap deal for somebody not that bad. is as good as David Long. Yeah. Uh, not obviously saying David Long is like a all-pro player, but he's a pretty good player. So I didn't uh, know about him until this year. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I would personally give it an A-. minus. I think it's a really good deal. Um, and it's also just, again, it's not like a one-year deal where the fans are, you know, counting down each game until he's gone. So yeah. they got all next year as well. So, yeah, A-. minus. I give David Long a B plus just because, you know, uh, David Long's a good linebacker and all. We don't know how good he's going to fit with the Dolphins' defense. So I don't know what to think of it, but mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a B plus. All right. Uh, Deshaun Elliott, the safety, he signed with the Dolphins. I think it's a pretty good 
Did you them. just skip past? You're saving the best for last. Okay, I'm just making sure because I see it. Don't worry. All right, we'll talk about it. We're getting there. Uh, yeah, Deshaun <laughs> Elliott signed with the Dolphins. I, I like know it. We're talking about. I think Deshaun Elliott's a pretty good player. Um, and I, I'm assuming he could play some of that strong safety or just play in the box. So uh, if that is the case, that's pretty good. Otherwise, it's just depth for J- uh, Javon Holland. Yes. So, yeah. What's your greed? Uh, you know what? I like him. I'll give it a B plus. Yeah, I'll give it a B plus too. Good depth signing if he doesn't start. Yada, yada, yada. Good stuff for the Dolphins. Yeah. Uh, cornerback Jalen Ramsey was traded. Gotta hype him up. Cornerback Jalen Ramsey. I'm not going to hype up mid. Mid? He's not mid. <laughs> He's still top five. Still top five. Uh, yeah, he got traded from the Rams to the Dolphins for a 2023 third round pick, which was the 77th overall they pick. They pretty much stole him from the Rams. Uh, yeah, a third round pick is, is pretty bad. And a uh, backup tight end? Yeah. That is crazy. The way I look at it, though, is, listen, the Rams, they just want to get off of that contract. They kind of have to start moving some pieces they're, they're around. They're kind so. of like rebuild mode, but not really. They still have some key players there, Stafford, Cup, Donald. I don't know. Yeah, see, the thing with Ramsey is it's, it's kind of unfortunate because – when you see like interviews and all that, it seems like a good dude, but just on the field, he does seem like at times he could kind of be a distraction. Um, he, well, yeah, he has he's, a lot of attention. He's that diva him. type player. Yeah, so I think maybe the Rams were like, okay, we kind of want to change this culture just a little bit. Um, that's why he's going to Miami. So yeah, that's why he's going to Miami. He does. He fits pretty situation. good with them. He's kind of like Xavier and Howard yeah. the type. That you know, they're both very confident. Uh, and they stay confident even when they get absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Top three corner duo in the league, possibly. Uh, when they're at their I'm gonna, A plus I'm, game. When they're I at know, their A plus game, yes. But Xavier and Howard, a little bit injury yeah. prone ish, where he kind of disappears throughout the season at times. Uh, and then Jalen Ramsey, uh, he just had pretty much two relatively rough years in a row. Uh, um, I mean, last year, kind of unfair the Super to grade him considering. The first year with the Rams. Well, yeah. I'm just saying the year before, which was a Super Bowl year. Um, yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah, I, I would say that for that one. Uh, he had an all right season that year, I guess. But we haven't really seen Jalen Ramsey beat Jalen Ramsey since Jacksonville, it feels like. Um, he's making that money now. He don't care anymore, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, it's, I think it's still, you know, listen, at the end of the day, it's Jalen Ramsey. Um, I'm giving an A- minus because they stole him from the Rams, so. I think the only thing is I feel like they kind of had that physical corner with Xavier Howard. I would have liked but them to get a speedy two. guy. Yeah, but both of them could get burned over the top. So I guess that's why you have Jarvan Holland, right? Yeah, and they got the draft there. coming up, filling that need if you really need a speedy type corner. Mm-hmm. I like I'm, it. Yeah, I'm just not totally sold on Jalen Ramsey being Jalen Ramsey. That's my only thing. I but, feel that. Uh, regardless, again, because of the name, I feel like Jaylen. you really can't. And it, Rams. Because of the name and the fact that you got him for a third, you really can't put it below an A-. minus. So I'm going to yeah. give it an A-. minus. I'm giving an A-. minus. They stole him from the Rams, man. A minus. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty they, sure that they the deal. They're moving he, on. He's yeah. The Patriots. What was the deal he got? He got a pretty big deal, right? An extension. I, I I don't know. I don't know the logistics with the money, but they got All him right. now. Well, let's lo- let's, let's move, move on. on to the New England Patriots who made some interesting moves. I like some their very moves. interesting. Well, moves. one nah, I don't like, but the other moves I like. Let's talk about the first one, James Robinson. I think he's a great piece. For that Bill Belichick, Bill O'Brien offense, I think he will fit perfectly with New England. I think he's an upgrade over Damian Harris when he gets the opportunities. I think a, and he'll, have a good O-line. Deal. he'll have a good O-line. Yeah. And it's also the fact that just with how Bill builds the Patriots, it's, it's yeah. a bunch of... Uh, Running back committee type guys. Well, it, I mean, yeah, but it's also... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, kind of just like... People that were overlooked and people that have kind of that extra, you know, like drive to them. Yeah. And I feel like James Robinson being undrafted, it just seems like a good fit for them. Um, and yeah, so him and Ramondre Stevenson, they will go ahead and I guess split carries, but. Yep. Yeah. Uh, James Robinson, I'll give that. Jeez. Um, I'm giving it I'm gonna a give minus. It, I like it a lot. I think he's going to do really well. With the I was going to give it a B. I'll probably move it to B plus just because I like it for the Patriots. I think oh, yeah. it fits better with the Patriots. That's what I'm saying. 
Um, so yeah, B plus. He's gonna be on. good fantasy guy. I get yeah. Uh, probably not. Nah. Splitting carries that's a little rough. Nah. You kind of want a guy as like that the guy. main. He's gonna be dude. the main guy. But Believe. anyways, wide receiver Juju Smith Schuster. This is a, questionable. He signing. signed a three year uh, deal that was pretty much thirty three million dollars uh, with incentives, which can come up to eleven mil per year. Cha ching. Yeah, he made a payday after the Super Bowl. Um, listen, Who thinks better, him or Jacoby Myers? Jacoby Myers. Okay. I think Jacoby Myers is just an underrated receiver that just doesn't get loved because he's not like fast by any means, but he's also just like a really good route runner, and so I've, it doesn't matter. You don't need to be fast if you can run the yeah. route perfectly. I, I just don't feel like Juju fits the Patriot way. Like, I don't know, TikTok guy, and now he's a Patriot. It doesn't make sense. No, yeah, it doesn't make sense. I, he definitely just took the bag. Um, after you take kind of the t- deal he took with the Chiefs, yeah. you kind of just say, all right, I had an all right season. But he, Who, Who's going to throw me the bag? Someone's yeah. going to throw it. Someone's but now desperate. he's the best receiver on the Patriots. So. He is, and I they think just the only issue, they'll, they'll probably draft another receiver as well. I wouldn't be surprised if they take – um, Jackson Smith. What? I don't know how to say his last What's name. What's their uh, draft pick? Top fifteen, probably. I, I think, think Jackson so, Smith's going top fifteen. They, I think, regardless, they're getting a receipt. Oh yeah. Like I could even see them in like the third round or fourth round, whenever Keishon Boutte is supposed to mm-hmm. get drafted. Yeah, he, he fell off. I, it's I, just a questionable signing day, for me. He gave him all that money, and he hasn't proven to be the guy he once was. I'm giving it a C plus. I think I'm going to give it a B because 11 mil for a receiver is not bad. And then also it's the fact that it's, it's actually a three-year 25.5, so it's not even 11 mil. It could be 11 mil per year, so it's actually less. incentives and stuff. So theoretically, that's... In, that's like less than what? It's four point five million dollars away from being the mm-hmm. third. Oh, it's actually yeah. I did the math wrong. That's yeah, crazy. This is, what sixteen mil guaranteed? No, 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 the next guy. Oh yeah, yeah. That's we'll, crazy. We'll get to that. But I think the Juju Smith one's actually a good one. I don't think the contract is bad. Yeah, I don't know. I um, just don't like. And that, that's Patriots. coming from a guy who genuinely hates him. Yeah, because of what he did. <laughs> what he did in the Super Bowl. Um, but yeah. Tight end Mike Gasecki signed a one-year, $4.5 million deal with the Patriots. I actually love this move for oh, Mike Gasecki because the Patriots love tight ends and they love to use tight ends. And I think he looked at this from a business perspective mm-hmm. is that if I go to the Patriots and I'm their number one tight end, I'm going to put up numbers. Yeah. And I'm going to get paid next offseason. I think this is their best tight end since Gronk. I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. I think I he's mean, better. Then, I, that's also like kind of rough because Hunter Henry's played fantastic. Well, yeah, as well. he's been really good, but I think Gesicki takes it another level. And Janu Smith, they just traded him to Falcons. So yep. I like the signing, Bill O'Brien connection. That's why he went back there, or went with him to the Patriots. I like it a lot. I'm gonna give an A minus. I think he'll do really well with the Patriots and be a Mac Jones security blanket. I'm gonna give it an A plus. Okay. And the reason being. It was only four point five. Yeah, for one very year. cheap. Although it does say it can be worth up to nine, but yes, still, they hit on right? all those goals. But I think the biggest thing for me is like, why not? Right? Why not just, especially with like, none of the, like it's not being a ton of money. It's like okay, let's say he plays fantastic. Okay, resign him. Like you guys love tight ends. You yeah. guys will pay a tight end. Mm-hmm. I know Bill Belichick. He'll pay a tight end. <laughs> so I think it's a great move for the Patriots. Um, moving on, we have Riley Reef, one year, five million dollar deal. It's probably not as big as I thought it was for a second. <laughs> we'll probably skip that. Um, they resigned Jonathan Jones, two year, twenty mil, ten mil a year. Mills back. Jalen Mills is back. Um, yep. Mac Wilson. Well, let's talk about Jonathan Jones, just because he was one of the better tight ends. Yeah, er, not tight ends. Corners. One of the better cornerbacks in the league last year. Woo! Um, I told you it's gonna be a longer episode, bro. Yes. Um, no, I was talking what? about the notification we just got. Oh, what was it? <laughs> Someone liked our reel. Oh, <laughs> is that what you did earlier too? Yeah. You're like, <laughs> um, yeah, Jonathan Jones, two years, twenty mil. Good for him. Uh, yeah, pretty good for him, especially because this was really his like first, like pretty dang good year. Yes. So and he got so a little payday. Out. Got a little payday out of it. Thankfully, the Patriots brought him back because I was getting tired of just watching them. Uh, have a good corner. Have a good corner. Let, let him go. Have another good corner. Let him go. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Keep some of these guys. Uh, <laughs> it's like, if you want to be contenders, you got to keep your players. Yeah. Uh, Jabril Peppers. Resi- oh, wait. We didn't even 
great than Jonathan Jones. All right, we'll give it an A minus. I'll give it an A minus. Jabril Boom. Peppers, uh, oh, two my years, guy, nine mil, which is what four point five a year. Yes, sir. So could be up to eleven mil per year in incentives or no in total. But I don't know how good he played with the Patriots last year. I don't think he was that great. So I think it's, I think he's just one of those. He's a fan favorite guy. They like how he plays hard. He might not be the best player, but he's the one that plays the hardest. So. He's a good like he's a good room Patriots guy. player. Yeah, captain type deal. I like it. I'll give it a B plus. All right, we move on to the New York We're Jets. We're still in the same division. You I know. know. That's We're, crazy. I'm trying to zoom. I'm trying to zoom, bro. All right. Vroom, vroom. New York Jets. They signed wide receiver McCole Hardman. One-year deal up to 6.5 mil. He could do some end-arounds and stuff. End-arounds is what he said. <laughs> he also said he could do more than that, um, which they're, he can. They're prepping for Aaron Rodgers. I like the move. Um, personally, as somebody who thinks that we could end up facing the Chiefs at some point again uh, in the well, that would obviously be the Super Bowl. Um, be nice not to have to worry about a guy like McCall Hardman. Oh, well, he didn't even, even play in the Super I'm Bowl. saying it would be nice to not have to worry about him yeah. because he's so fast and our corners are getting old. Um, yes, they are. But we'll talk about that later. Yeah, so one-year deal. I like it. I'm going to give it a B. B. All I'm right. going to give it a B, too, because it's yes. okay. Alan Lazard, four-year, $44 million deal. He got the bag. It's 11 mil per year. This is pretty much what Juju got. I don't but know less. if he's that good, though. Like, he I'm didn't giving have a great it, season last year. I'm giving it an A because of the fact that A. <laughs> a? A-Rod. A-Rod. <laughs> uh, B, he honestly just, for a team that tends to want to run the ball quite a bit now, um, you need good blocking receivers. And let's be real, Corey Davis, he was nice. Is he still on that team? Yeah. Okay. He's been a little bit injury prone now, um, but he was a guy who could block. Alan Lazard, he can stay healthy for a while, and he's also able to block. And he's good at getting jump balls. I just think he gives a different... He's a good compliment with the receivers that have. Yeah, there. and so that's why I actually like the deal for them. Um, yeah. I don't know about all that money and if he's worth all that money, but... Realistically, listen, you're the New York Jets, you, and you, 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 haven't, paid, you haven't paid people in a minute. Yeah, so this so doesn't I, affect them. I guess. And you think Odell's going to go to the Jets? What do you think? There's a chance. There's I think they're chance. trying to get it done. And I think Odell wants to go there because he knows A-Rod's going to go there. And he knows that they could be a really good team next year. I don't think they win a the division, though. I think they win the division. With that defense and the fact that they were I already s- beating up. I still on... got Buffalo, man. Nope. I still got Buffalo. Nope. Uh, uh, I would grade it a either. B+. Plus. B+. Plus. All right. I don't know if I feel... <laughs> Good about that money situation. Quincy Williams, a late brother of Quentin Williams. Hell yeah. Three-year, $18 million deal. Can max up to 21 mil. He got a payday. He, he got some money. And I'm pretty sure he was cut from the Jags. He was. And he was picked up by the Jets. So for them to be able to like, have hey, Robert Sala be like, yo, you you're fit good. my defense <laughs> perfectly. I'm, I'm happy to resign a three-year deal. Yeah, good for him. I'm happy for him. He seems like a good dude from yeah, the man. interviews I've seen. Um... I'm gonna probably give it a B, a B, B. plus, B plus, B plus, because he, he was actually a pretty, really, pretty good player for their defense. I'll actually. give it a B. I like the signing, but I don't know if he's worth all that money because he just got cut, like you said. So like, but he's gonna fit good with that Jets defense. All right, Chuck Clark, the safety. He was traded from the Ravens for a seventh. I think for a they seventh, did that's actually dirty. pretty dang good. Ravens did him dirty. Yeah, Only Chuck seventh. Clark. I feel like Chuck Clark. He's listen, a solid I know, player. He's a solid player, and I think that again with Robert Sala, he could probably make him a pretty dang good player. So, so he's starting now, right? For, yeah, for it to be a seventh round pick, I'm gonna get an A plus just because of the fact that it was a seventh. Uh, I don't know A plus, but I give it. I trust Robert Sala. I, I give it A minus. I'll give it A minus. A plus. I don't know if he's gonna <laughs> be that perfect type player. If if he's like amazing, then yeah, A plus. But I don't think he'll be. All right, AFC North. We're finally on a different division. We're on a different division. We're not even AFC North. NFC Lamar yet. Jackson. Nothing yet. <laughs> nothing yet. We're still waiting. All right. They re-signed Trayvon Mullen to a one-year deal. I like that. Trayvon Mullen, I liked him when he was on the Raiders. I guess he didn't play well, and then he got – I think he went to the Cardinals, and then the Cardinals caught him, and now the Ravens got him. Yeah. yeah. I feel like Trayvon has potential, so I'm happy that they re-signed him, especially for their system it's and their Probably defense. like vet minimum, minimum type deal. He's so. not even a vet. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Not yeah, that just much a minimum money. deal. Uh, Nelson Aguilar, one Nelly. year, three point two five mil. Solid. It's Finally another. Getting... It's another deep threat. Another receiver that Lamar can have that will drop the ball. It's gonna be great. He, to be fair, he hasn't dropped the ball like that anymore. All right. Well, I like Nelly. I actually was hoping that we could try to bring him back as a wide receiver three. 
I think it would have actually been worth it. But that would have been funny. It would have been funny. Because <laughs> unlike Agnar, no. <laughs> Aguilar, I give it a C plus. C plus signing. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm going to give it a B minus. I, I think that has upside um, as a deep threat. And then also that the good. fact that I feel like when you went to the Patriots, they did not play him the same way that the Raiders played him when he had the 1,000-yard season. Or I at least forgot very he close. went to the Raiders. Oh, my God. He's um, been everywhere now. Yeah, he was a really good receiver for the Raiders. I'm surprised they didn't bring him back. Um, I think I picked him up in waivers in fantasy that year. <laughs> Cincinnati Bengals. They signed Orlando Brown. Orlando. That's a big deal. To a four-year, $64 million deal. Zero he, sacks and allowed. They, Slippery surface. <laughs> Slippery when wet. He, he's still a great tackle. I would say no, yeah. top five in the league, especially at the left tackle spot. Uh-huh. Um, I like the deal. Jonah Williams is now on his way out. I like the deal a lot. I'm going to give it an A. I thought Jonah Williams was solid. Yeah. Um, he's going to be the protector of Joe, Joe Burrow's Williams. blind side now. So like, I, no, think, I was saying Jonah Williams. Oh, oh. Yeah. I, I think Jonah he Williams was solid, was nice. But he's an upgrade for sure. He is an upgrade. Um. I think the fact is that Jonah Williams would have been cheaper, but then it's like, okay, at this point when you're the Bengals, why not just start yeah, giving you, out money? You got some money to spend, so you want to protect Joe Burrow at all costs. You yeah. get Orlando Brown. I like it a lot. Giving it an A. All right. Jermaine Pratt. He's, uh, a, he's resigned a good guy. Two years, 21 mil. I like it. Seven mil per year. Um, he's making some money. Yeah. They struggle a little bit. Um or they were going to struggle if they didn't bring him back with the linebackers that they had, the depth they had. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was good to bring him back. And he also just seems like a leader. I know he had that time. I think he, uh, what, he was really mad at the one defensive edge, whatever, against the Chiefs. He, I think he roughed the passer or whatever. What, when he pushed, pushed uh, him on the side of bounds and, like, yeah. ended the game. Uh, he was the one that yeah. screamed or whatever, uh, going to the locker room. He's and a good guy, though. He's a good leader. No, he is a good leader. Yeah. He, he you said, have to resign him. Yeah. So you have to bring him I'll back. I'll make up for it next year. Watch. Just watch. Watch. Nick Chip Scott. Scott. Penn State coming legend. Back. Or not coming back. He's going to the Bengals. He's going to be on yeah, another Penn State legend. good team. I'm happy he got a three-year deal. He's a really good guy. Didn't say how much, but hey, it's going to be a good deal. Three-year deals is that's something that you give to somebody that you He's actually good. think that could play for you for a little bit, yeah, obviously. So good for him. Um, I'd expect him to start. He did play for the Rams a bit. He didn't actually look. Like, they still need a corner, though. Yeah, I don't know what the Bengals are doing defensively. They're probably going to just l- try to load up in the draft. They could get Marcus Peters. He's out there. He is out there. So we'll see. Cleveland Browns. Let's talk about uh, a few that different guy. ones here. Oh, We're we, saving the best for last. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Dalvin Tomlinson. Four years, Former 57 giant. mil. He got paid. He got paid they a lot. They need defensive tackles. I don't know if he's that good to get paid, but they, they he's need, a solid they, piece. They needed defensive tackles. Uh, they and overpaid. They got they, and got they, got him. they got him now. I'm um, clicking on his name now. I was going to go look at his he stats. Was on the no, I just want to make sure he was on the uh, Vikings. Yeah. Um, we beat him in his last game. It was great. In the playoffs. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. Yeah. Uh, Dalvin Tomlinson, <laughs> I like him as a player. I think that. Uh, yeah, I love the... him. You, uh, you know what I just realized? We didn't even grade these. <laughs> All right. You, you, no, we're not grading anymore. I did. I, I graded Orlando Brown. I gave him an A. Oh, I'll grade the good we're gonna, signings. Yeah, we're, no, no, no. We're going to start just grading the teams now. All right, we're Based grading the teams. Need. It's getting too long. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Davlin Tomlinson, I like the deal. Four years, 57 I mil. I like it. Just a little too much money. Yeah, probably a little too much, but they have to get somebody. Yes. Um, Edge Okbo or Okoronkwo? O- Three years, O-Bo 19 mil. Okbo Okoronkwo. Yeah, whatever his name is. He's I've, an edge I've player. heard the name. So that that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, it's a good sign. It probably I don't means know like much he's about him. Bit, it probably means he's just on a, on the on underrated, yeah, uh, yeah, under yeah. the radar type side. Okay. So I think it's a good deal. Yeah, I mean, sure. With Jadavian Clowney leaving, clearly they expect this guy to be something for them. Good for them. Elijah Moore. That's a great. That's a great trade, trade for. Them. I don't know what happened with him in New York. They just my, wanted my to move off thing, of him. My biggest thing is that they sent a second round pick for Elijah Moore. I think that that just straight up that too would have been fine. But the fact that they got a third as well, yeah. The Browns got a third with Elijah Moore for that second round pick. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, that's a solid deal I for get, the Browns. I mean, it's a really good deal. Now, Sean Watson, let's not weapon. O- let's not overrate Elijah Moore because he did struggle last year, and that oh. that is to say, yes, he didn't get the ball, but. But also there's Look who many, his quarterback was. I'm trying to say. He <laughs> dropped the ball. There was opportunities he had. Um, I think a fresh 
uh, what is it? Start. Fresh start. Yeah. It's going to be do really good for him. He's going to be playing with Deshaun Watson, who, you know, football-wise, strictly <laughs> football, he's a good player. He's a great player. Great player football-wise. Um, and I'm sure Off he's the working field, on the offseason. talk about yep. that. <laughs> Juan Thornhill, three years, 21 mil. I like that. I like it I a like lot. I like that they took him from the Chiefs. Uh-huh. Um, He's a good safety. Cleveland. Obviously, John Johnson, he's gone now. This is the guy that they're going to have to step in. I actually I really like him. So I would grade their overall free agency a B plus. I'm going to give it a B plus as well. I really like what they've done. Yeah. I think you could argue it's an A-. minus. Pittsburgh could. Steelers. They're signing some older players now. I like what they've done. All right? They got in Nate Herbig and Isaac Sayamalu, both two people, former Eagles. Former Eagles. Uh, Herbig, he was on the Jets two-year. He's going to make four mil a year. Um, I like that deal for them. He's solid. He's probably just solid. There's not upside. Not really amazing. At this point. Just solid. But that's what they need. Yes. Um, they need- and then Isaac Sayamalu, one of the better guards in the league. Yeah. Uh, three years, 24 mil. He finally got Twitter, and he said his goodbyes to us. It was very emotional. Oh. Um, he said that he loved being here. is the best time of his life. So I very wish sad. Isaac... He's the not moving that far. He's just going to yeah. Pittsburgh. He's I, I wish him the best state. of luck. I hope that he can make an all-pro with them. I doubt um, it. He's, yeah. <laughs> I doubt it. Um, Larry Ogunjobi. That's a good one. Resigned him. Three years, 28 mil. Again, really good for them. Um, one of the more underrated players in the league, I would say. Yep. Um, Cole Holcomb. I like that. Three years, 18 mil. Thank God he left Washington because I felt like he was just a pain in our... You know, horse. Um, <laughs> Patrick Peterson, two year, fourteen mil. Why is he still getting paid? <laughs> That's not bad for a corner. Why is he still getting paid? It's only seven mil. He's washed. He's not washed. He was listen, still one of the better I have, players. I have a vendetta year. against him after what he said about Kyler. Oh, well, it's um, true. No, it's not. Yes, All it right, is. For the Steelers, I would give them a solid B. I like what they've done. I feel like they could still do a little bit better. But yeah. overall, I think they got they, a lot of older guys. I like that they looked at the O line to look after my boy Kenny Pickett. I'm going to give it a B- minus because it's a lot of older guys and not like young superstar type mm-hmm. guys. But they're going to be, be good be- enough. Their best deal was the Ogunjobi and then second best was Isaac. Yes. For sure. Some um, of them are reaches. Yeah. AFC South. Case Keaton. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Houston, baby. <laughs> uh, Devin Singletary, one year they've deal. They've had some good deals. I, I actually really like what they've done. Got because, some receivers. Listen, the way I look at this is that Bryce Young is not going to step into a team where it's like, okay, this is going to be a rough year. Like, you he's know gonna it's going to be Bryce Young. You don't want to get it's too ahead of yourself. It's going to be Bryce Young. You don't want to get too ahead of yourself I'm now. locking in. I'm going to lock this in. I'm putting it right locked here. Locked in. Number one. Someone like the real CJ again. Stroud. Let's go, baby. CJ Stroud, number one to the Panthers. Panthers. Number two, Bryce Young to the Texans. Number okay. three, Will Anderson to the Cardinals. I'm going to make a mock draft. You heard it here first. We're making a mock draft after this. Ooh, I'm excited. All right. Um, Singletary. Yeah, Devlin, Singletary, like I said, uh, good depth for them. But let's be real, Damian Pierce, he's him. Yeah. Um, they brought in Noah Brown. I like that. Yep. Underrated. Robert um, Woods. I, and I mean underrated for like a wide receiver three. Yeah. So he's not like he's not a like two or one. Yeah. Obviously, he's trash. Yeah. Robert Woods. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Robert Woods. He's he's old. He's, two years. He's he went to the age. only team that would give him a starting job. Um, and he gets to live in Houston. Eat some good Jones. food. He also did. What Mike Kosecki did. Yeah, one year which is prove a one it deal. Year prove it deal. I think he should have, the Cowboys should have re signed him. I don't know what they were doing. He's one of their best players on offense. Dak looked at him a lot. I'm a little bit worried. I think they could try to take uh, Meyer in the first round. Oh, uh, you think that's what they're doing? Yeah, and Meyer's a stud. He and is a I, stud. Would, I would hate that. Yeah, I, I would have kept Schultz, but if they go that route, then I understand. Listen, I feel Schultz on this. Ready? Schultz is my guy. I like Schultz. I, I know. This is the way I look at it, right? Fantasy legend. I want to get out of Dallas. There's too much drama here. Yeah, so let's go to Houston. Let's go to Houston. It's a little more quiet. Let's let me work some on more my, games. Let me work on my craft. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Live the good life. But yeah, he's going to pretty much do it. They Gisecki signed does. so many people. They got Shaq Mason, too. Yeah, I was going to say, they. so they tried, traded for Shaq Mason, re-signed Laramie Tunsil. Um, who I just want to say, Shelton shout out Rankins Laramie Tunsil. He is, you would think for a guy that's as good as he is to stay in Houston, he'd be like, oh, I'm trying to go to a competitor. Bro, he, he, he just wants care. the bag. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> he's making shmoney. Yeah, and after everything that happened, I'm happy for him. Yes. <laughs> um, Chase Winovich, Hassan Ridgeway, Corey Littleton, Denzel Perriman, Jimmy Ward. <laughs> wow. A lot of good oh. signings, I think. And, I would uh, give it a B plus. I'm going to give it a B plus as well. 
They um, weren't all perfect signings. They're all guys that can start for you. My favorite signing team. was Dalton Schultz. I think it's oh, yeah. really good for Bryce you Young. You stole him from the Cowboys, and yeah, you get a security blanket for Bryce Young. And you can pay him next quarterback year. Is. Pay him next year. Yeah, <laughs> the Cowboys pay him next year? Or the Texans? Texans. Okay. You think he comes back? We'll see. Yeah. Um, all right. Colts. They kind of. I feel, I feel really bad for my boy. <laughs> Gardner. Garner Minshew That's was it? arguably their best signing. They did bring in Isaiah McKenzie from the Bills. That, um, I do man, like him. He's all right. But, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. This is probably like a C minus. Yeah. They, Close to like a, a D. I mean, this is a horrible they free got, agency. Yeah, terrible. Well, not terrible. You got some decent I thought guys. They were gonna bring back, some I thought they would guys. bring back Ngakwe. Well, he's still free agent, so well, yeah. they still can. He's probably testing his market right now. It's probably not much there. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I hate what the Colts have done. <laughs> yeah. Jacksonville Jaguars. Again, another team that really hasn't done much. Other That's than, really surprising considering the fact of where they got. You thought they would be kind of in it, yeah. right? Well, um, last offseason, they were doing a lot of signings, yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's probably why. So, signed a three-year or extension, Roy Robertson-Harris. Good D-lineman. Uh, again, underrated. People don't really know about him. Ingram um, got the tag. Ingram got the tag, which is good for them. He played really good for them. Uh, yeah. Um, I would give overall. I'm gonna give it like a C. I give it. Yeah, I give it a C too. Other than Evan Ingram and Harris, not that many great signings for the Jags. Uh, yup. Tennessee Titans. I like Andre Dillard signing. I think Dillard has upside. When he played for us, he looked pretty good. The injury thing was. I'm surprised only- he got all that money. Man. Yeah, and I'm happy for him. He was a really good guy. Um, obviously. In the situation that he was in, it just felt really rough for him. I kind of felt bad at times. Um, but I'm happy he got a little bit of a payday. Um, Arden Key, I liked that. Pretty good move for him. Underrated um, defensive lineman. Aziz Alchair, again, another guy. It was only a one-year deal. I thought they would res- or I thought they would sign him to a multi-year deal because of how good he played for the Niners. But yep. I think right now the Titans are kind of in that in-between where yeah. they're like, okay, we're going to buy in free agency, but we're not going to buy heavy. Like, we're yeah. kind of just going to see, like, I don't okay. Know what they're trying to do We're going right to see, like, can we kind of compete next year? If you can't, then you'll, you're will you not hurt by these contracts. And then Sean Murphy Bunting, he left the Bucks and signed with the Titans, getting another opportunity. They have a really good uh, cornerback uh, core with, obviously, Caleb Farley, yep. um, who they took. Hopefully he can stay healthy. Um, they have my boy from LSU. <laughs> what the? I don't know who you wait, talk about. Wait, him, wait, but wait, yeah. wait. They do got wait. the guy from LSU. He got burnt by AJ, and I wanted him on the Eagles. What is his name? Uh, the guy from LSU. We'll just keep it at that. The guy from LSU. Felton? No. I don't know. That was a guess. Oh, they also have Roger McCreary. Yeah. And Al Schumer. One of them is going to be a depth player. Uh, hold on. He wants to know the LSU guy, but... Because he's my guy... He's obviously not if you don't know his name. Well, yeah, that's why I was like, dang. They got Janoris Jenkins too, baby. No, they don't. That's old. Out of old news. Why do you think Logan Ryan's there? Cody Sensabaugh's there. Remember him? Please stop. <laughs> the Titans. I feel like they're wait, one of those wait, teams. Wait, this is going to hurt me. This is really going to hurt me when I see it. Where you at? 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 Christian Fulton. Oh, my God. I said Fulton. Did you? All right, no, I said Felton. Yeah. I'm very close. Say Fulton very, next time. I was very close. <laughs> Um, All right, anyways, moving on. <laughs> What'd you grade oh, it? Oh, uh, C. C? Yeah, I gave it a C. They, they, don't, know, they don't know what they're doing. That's going to have a trade fire sale. Denver Broncos. Jared Stidham to be a backup. I like it. I like Jared Stidham. He's all right. I like nothing him. special. Uh, Samaj so P. Ryan. He's all right. He's uh, all right. Marquez Callaway. Nothing special. Mike McGlinchey. Why'd you give him $90 million? Um, he's, a, he's a great right tackle. He had one good year. He was really kind of having a rough years before that. I asked a Niners fan. I have Niners fans. All right. right. He's got Alex Niners Singleton. Info. They love him. Um, I, Zach Allen. Love that for them. I'm going to give it a B minus. I was going to give it a B minus. Like, Actually, got some, wait. Ben Powers forgot to mention that. Never mind. It's a B plus. <laughs> I like what Sean Payton's doing. Getting some offensive linemen for Russell Wilson. Because like, he was getting pressured a lot he was. last season. And then you get a guy like Jared Stidham. That kind of fits the Sean Payton offense, so I like that. So I'm giving it a B minus. Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> They've had they won a Super Bowl. Good for them. Moving on. Whoa, Las Vegas. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I like Jawan Taylor. You've replaced Orlando Brown. You get Jawan Taylor. Good signing. I'm gonna giving Jawan Taylor twenty mil a year is sorry. Right. Really good value. Yeah. No, I'm just saying it's really good yeah. value. Um 
again, a guy who he's, his career kind of started a little bit rough. Um, it, it, we weren't really sure how good he was going to be in the last year. Bro played out of his mind. Um, I feel like they're getting D-Hop. That's a prediction I'm having right now. They're going to go out of their way, get D-Hop, get a number one receiver for Mahomes other than Kelsey. Mm-hmm. I saw there was a team yesterday that's all of a sudden is in the D-Hop sweepstakes. I saw the Patriots are out of it. They're out of it. I think the Bills are in it now. Oh, well, yeah. I think he goes to one of those AFC teams. I think one of those contenders. Yeah, I think he's going to go to AFC. Uh, Raiders, Jimmy Garoppolo. They've a had lot a of, weird I, I want to say, with, listen, this is what I want to say. All right. They've had a lot of, oh, my God. I think that's the longest list so far. Of the Raiders making moves. Transactions. The way I look at it, listen, Josh Jacobs, great uh, franchise tag to use there. He doesn't want to be there. He, Yeah, he doesn't want to be there. <laughs> Um, OJ Howard, I like that. If we could stay healthy, he could play good. Awesome. Jacoby Hooper. Myers, they paid him. He's a really good receiver. He fits the Patriot yep. way. Jimmy G, <laughs> love Jimmy G. Think he's actually. Oh, are you okay? Yes, he's okay. Uh, I think Jimmy G is one of the more underrated uh, signings for the Raiders. I think a lot of people saw the signing. They were really mad about it. They were like, "What direction are we trying to do?" Like he's, a lot of people into rebuild offense. I like it. I think that Jimmy it's G is going fit. to have a good year for them. I don't know about that. Listen, people need to put some respect on Jimmy G's name. They made it far in the playoffs with him at quarterback. I know that the defense played fantastic, but Jimmy G was part of it, all right? He had to throw the ball. Shanahan. He had to throw the ball. Shanahan. And I think that when you give Jimmy G a pretty basic system to work with, he can excel in it. We'll see other defense plays. Cam Sims. Thank God he is off that team because I felt like whenever he played us, he had like one or two big catches. He's not that good. <laughs> I know, but for the Commanders, he was apparently him he, against us. He had, like, a few good games. I like Spillane. Against, against Spillane us. was a good signing. Uh, who else we got? David Long. Yeah. Uh, that's I, not the name I was thinking of. I give it a B. Marcus Epps. Yeah, that's it. I give the rating a B. They got some solid guys that could it, contribute yeah, I'm right away. Jimmy Garoppolo I like a lot because he knows the offense. But other than that, eh, it's okay. Yep, giving it a B. Uh, Chargers, they brought in Eric Kendricks. That's about it, if we're being honest. Uh, they obviously like Donald Faram Jr. Parham Jr.? Parham? Um, Parham? Whatever. Morgan Fox, they re-signed him. Their offseason is kind of trash. Yeah, they really aren't. They got Eric Kendricks. Moved. I like that, but he's getting up there in age, so I don't know how well he's going to be. He was kind of getting burnt last year just a little bit. Tiny bit, but I'm going to give it a C plus. I'll give a C plus just because you got Eric Hendricks. All right. Dallas Cowboys. They've had a decent offseason. I'm yeah. not going to lie. So Tony, ba- or Tony Pollard, they put him on the franchise tag. Obviously, they're not entirely sure how he's going to uh, come back. Recover. Yeah. So they did bring in Ronald Jones, who was a guy who had a good year. I could see him having a good he year behind have a their good year. He barely played with the I Chiefs. Said, like, I was saying he had a good year. He, he's had a good year. Yes. Before. That's what I said. Yes. With okay. the Bucks. Okay. Um, I think he's kind of insurance. Um, Because he can play. Um, Trade for Brandon Cooks for a fifth round pick. They are going to be playing or paying Brandon Cooks nearly 20 mil, which is a little bit rough. I like it, but I don't know how well he is now. He's getting up there in age where he's going to start the No, no, you said this. We had this conversation. Brandon Cooks is a really good receiver. He's Um, a really good receiver, but he's not really good anymore. I think he's going to be. In my opinion. I think he's going to be a pretty good receiver for the Cowboys. I think it was actually a really good underrated move by them. So now they have CeeDee Lamb. Cooks and then Michael Gallup. That's a pretty good wide receiver core, in my opinion. Um, I'm sure Brandon Cooks will be a pain in a lot of our, you know what's um, arses. Yes. Uh, <laughs> brought back Dante Fowler Jr. Thought that was good. He actually played pretty good for them. So just re-signing him. Um, Van Der Esch, He can't stay healthy, so yeah. they gave him a two-year deal, pretty cheap. Resigned Donovan Wilson. That was good. He played good for them. And then obviously they trade for Gilmore. I now, like it, but you he's say, getting old too. I, I feel like with Gilmore. He, I have the same opinion that you have about Cooks is that Gilmore got up in age. A lot of people, listen, I get it. It's Gilmore. It's Gilmore. It's a cool name. It's a cool name. It's very flashy. Very Fits flashy. Fits Dallas, name. you know. But era. the fact is, listen, I unfortunately was watching some Colts games last year. Yeah. Because I was curious. Um, Isaiah Hodges. As to how they would Burnham. play. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And Gilmore, other receivers. Gilmore's not even your best corner. Diggs is still your best corner. Oh, yeah, Diggs is better than him right now. And, yeah, Gilmore, he's falling off. I know uh, that's why you got him for a fifth. <laughs> I give I give it a B plus. They're I'm going to give it a B. I don't think it's a B plus. 
I think because I think the trades were good, but that's not free agency. In it is. It's the off season. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not gonna. I give it's it. It's not a like B they've plus. got these guys on contracts, and both of them are expiring deals, anyways. Well, they'll make it work. But yeah, I'm gonna give it a B. Hey, the G men. We got the New York Giants. Yes. We signed Daniel Jones four years, one sixty. I like Saquon it. Saquon Barkley he got the franchise tag. They I don't like have to it. worry about paying him next year. Um, they got Barris Campbell on I a like one-year that. deal. Jamison Crowder, Sterling Shepard re-signed one-year deal. Darius Slayton two years. Darren Waller they traded for. Great, uh, he was a great he was trade. A third round pick. Stolen from the Chiefs. Bobby Okereke, not the Chiefs. Um, Amani Warrior. I'm gonna go on out on a limb and say that. Very so, great offseason. I'm just going to go through my perspective because I'm an Eagles fan. All right. I like to hear the Eagles fans. Daniel Jones. Daniel four Jones. Four years, 160. I yeah. like it. I think it's good money for him, especially with what the market is yes. now. He's going to um, be cheap compared to all the other quarterbacks. And I think that after, that what, you saw, after what you saw with him and Brian Dable's offense, Dabes. it's clear that he could be the guy for them. Uh, I don't know if he'll win a Super Bowl. But he can make it to the playoffs. Well, and they don't have a Super Bowl game. roster yet. It's early yet. Well, you know? I'm saying I don't know if he can. I think in general, I, I still should question that. But that's also why he's developing still. Yes. Um, Saquon Barkley, you had to bring him back. They had to bring him back. He was your entire offense last year. Matt Breida, happy they re-signed him. He was also a guy when Saquon wanted to come out. Breida still had some electricness. Uh, 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 yeah, right? Electricity. Like, um, yeah. That. <laughs> uh, Parrish Campbell. Uh, he's a little bit injury prone. Is why you don't pay him a lot. Obviously, yeah, it's a one year prove it deal. If you do well, you'll get signed somewhere else. He's probably just a depth guy. They'll probably have uh, what's his name? Uh, who's that? Uh, Hodgins? No, Crowder. Who was the guy from Kentucky? You guys told Kentucky. Wandale Robinson. Him. I think like Wandale Robinson, Isaiah Hodgins, and Slayton are probably going to be your starters. Oh yeah, uh, opening it up. So Campbell, just a depth guy, a, a burner. We're not done at receiver yet because. All those receivers, we only have two under contract next well, yeah. year. So like, Jamison Crowder, I like that. He's deals. a good slot receiver. He'll be our punt returner, replace Reggie James. Listen, the reason I like you, that move. The reason you have all these receivers is because you guys lost all your receivers. Um, yeah. And, yeah, Sterling Shepard, re-signed him. Uh, good honestly, it's locker just, room guy. I like it. Fits I, the I culture. I trying to give my Eagle perspectives. But we'll, I, we'll get to you. I want to talk, man. <laughs> you said I want to hear your perspective, and now all of a sudden. Well, I, we did for the first half. <laughs> All right, Sterling Shepard, um, kind of like what you said, locker room guy. And I also think it's, listen, when it's your guy that tore his ACL, the least you could do is just give him a one-year deal yeah. to try to make some money make next year. Make him happy. Darius Slayton, uh, yeah. Yeah, they can bring him back. Uh, was your best deal. receiver Wasn't last year. And it's kind of funny because he, he was kind of an afterthought at the beginning of last year, and then all of a sudden was like, I'm still here. It's because Kenny Galladay turned into trash. Yep. Darren Waller, if he can stay healthy, uh, it's a good trade. Great if not, move. that's rough. Um, He'll stay healthy. I don't know about new that. New turf. He hasn't. New turf. He hasn't been healthy in two years. Um, yeah, well, this is New Year. Bobby Okereke is probably my favorite signing of theirs. Um, the Colts linebacker. He's all over the place. Played really, really good last year. Like I said, or like you said, all over the place. And probably just going to be a super stud. Wouldn't be surprised if he was a pro bowler. I hope. They brought in my boy, Amani Ouroworie. Uh, really, really happy. Good physical corner. He's got to start for them. Overall, I'm going to be completely honest. Non-biased. Non-biased. This is an F. No. <laughs> Yo, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Completely unbiased. I'm probably going to give it an A-. minus. I like that. I appreciate that. Got to dap up for that. Okay. Close to an A. All right, let's talk about my perspective. Giants fan perspective. All right, Daniel Jones, I like bringing him back. He had a career year last year. Only 15 touchdowns passing, but... It was still a great year in his development. I like that we brought him back. He's making cheap money compared to Joe Burrow and all these guys when they get paid, so I like it. Saquon, I think we reach an extension with him. This could be like a two-year extension eventually. We have until July to reach an extension. I think he comes back. He's the heart and soul of the offense. I like that signing a lot. Matt Breida, nice guy. Fits the culture, yada, yada. He's going to be the backup to Saquon. He's not that special. Paris Campbell. Nice one-year guy that's going to stay there for a year and be like a Richie James type player. Crowder, he's going to be our permanent turner. I'm happy about that. Shepard, locker room guy. Really happy that he's back. Didn't want him to go elsewhere, and he's just a good guy. Slayton, I like him a lot. He loves Daniel Jones. He has his back 24-7. Happy that he's back. Had one of his best years, I would say, last year. 
and was our leading receiver. Darren Waller, I love this. We essentially traded Kadarius Tony for Darren Waller. And that's a solid move. Only a third round pick. Not going to complain at all. And he's probably going to be our best option at the receiver spot next year. So I like that. And I like Bobby Okereke. He's going to be insane for us. He already is better than Jalen Smith. Easy. Already, like, replaced that position without a doubt. Happy with what, with what they did. I'm going to give it A-2. minus So let's move on. Is there? Yes, yeah, sir. Who's next? Is it the Eagles? It's the Eagles. This is where I come in. <laughs> oh, this is where he comes in, man. So, I'm going to say right now, Eagles, really good free agency. Really good. Really good. Really um, good. So, my biggest thing is, okay, bringing Mark Mariota. Really prophecy we'll, we'll fulfilled. Um, uh, yeah, eight years too late. Eight years too late. Rashad Penny, one-year deal, uh, prove it year. or Yeah, prove it year for him. He's played like five career games. What? He's played like five. Yeah, he played the whole season last year. No, he didn't. He was hurt. I know. Kenneth Walker. <laughs> nah, uh, no. Nah. Rashad Penny, I like what he can bring again. Kind of like the Darren Waller thing. I mean, if they can stay healthy, good. If they can't, dang. <laughs> yeah. Um, Boston Scott re-signed him. Love that move. Um, Jason Kelsey, he's back. He's back. Fletcher Cox, he's back. He's back. Brandon Graham, he's back. He's back. <laughs> Nicholas Moreau, I he's like that. He's not back. He's new. He's new. <laughs> Had a hundred and something tackles last year. He was actually probably. I'm surprised the Bears didn't bring him back. But it's because they got other linebackers. It's because he was a little bit older. They wanted to get younger. They got your with the linebacker. Team. Yeah. So we kind of got their older guy, their veteran linebacker. I like that. I like it. Moreau, I like him. Um, Jermaine, James. 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 James Bradbury signed a very cheap contract with us. He's back. Yeah. Um, Slay. Back. He's back. Resi- or signed to Greedy Williams, signed solid. Terrell Edmonds, and solid, Justin Evans. Solid. I'm going to give it an A minus because I think that when you already had the roster you have, you just got to bring people back. That's yes. all you had to do. And we did that. We were able to add a little bit. Uh, sucks not to be able to bring back CJ. Um, he's also talking a lot of crap about us on Twitter now because he thinks that the fans turned their back on him, even though that he was doing. So many stupid things throughout free agency. Well, he's just a troll. That's he who he is. He's a troll. You know, and he called Bradbury Baldberry. He's yeah. just a troll. So I think not bringing him back kind of sucks, but I kind of see the direction they're going. If I had to assume, uh, it looks like Avante Maddox might get some time at strong safety. Ooh, interesting. Um, which allows Greedy Williams to probably play the slot if he could. I believe he can. Okay. Um. And then it also allows Reed Blankenship to play at free safety. And then I wouldn't be surprised if we move down from 10 to about 14, 15, take Brian Branch to be our guy that probably starts, let's be real, over. Enlighten me. Who's Brian Branch? He's the Alabama safety. Oh, now we know. He is a tool. He's a weapon. He's a weapon. He is a special X type player. I mean, mean, now I know about him. Yes. I'm happy. All right. I'm going to give it a B plus because you didn't get CJ back. I like all the signings, bringing mm-hmm. everybody back. Kelsey, I think him coming back is going to be crucial. He's like the whole leader on that offensive line. He calls out plays. He's a guy you need to bring back because you can't really replace him. And I like that you brought back those defensive guys, Cox, Graham, but they're kind of getting old and up there in age. I think it's one of those where we understood that, okay, we're going to have to draft this coming later around yeah. this year and then next year. Um, but – I like they were just, it. There were too many holes to fill at this point, so we just have to be like, yo, Fletch, yeah, come back. Just come back. <laughs> and, I, and to be fair, Fletch had almost 10 sacks last year. That is true. So it's not like he's lost. A lot of players had a lot of sacks last year. <laughs> I think we had like the most <laughs> since whatever. But. Yeah. I like Bradbury coming back because like he was, I would say he was your best corner on the team last year. Slay, he would start out really good, but he kind of fell off the second half of the mm-hmm. year. But uh, he's still think, one of them listen, top corners in yeah, the league. He's Slay. one of the best corners in the league still. Uh, my biggest thing is how is he going to age? We don't know. I think it's unfair to try to say that he's going to, like, listen, when I thought he was going to be gone, I was trying to cope. I was trying to say, oh, he's not going to be good. <laughs> like, you know how it is. Listen, every fan yeah. is like that, right? When a player leaves your team, it's, it's like, like yeah, oh, they're, they're not going to yeah. play good for them. But, yeah. but then he realized his market, and he's like, I'll come back, you know? So that's, <laughs> he realized his market, he got paid. Well, he's, yeah, he got paid, but most of we it's We made a like, lot of money for this year. Yes. So that we could bring back a lot of these guys. Um, yeah, but I'm going to give it a B-plus, solid offseason, bringing all those guys back. Commanders. Eh. Drawn Payne brought him back. 
Nick Gates stolen from the Giants. Yeah, now we don't Nick have Gates a center. The Giants. That's pretty much what they've done. Uh, I don't think there's really much else to talk about. Oh, Cameron Brissette. Dantzler. Cameron Dantzler. He's a... Actually, I'm just really surprised the Vikings gave up on him that quickly. But, um, yeah. Brissett, I like because I, I like think Brissette. he will start over Hal because Hal is trash in my opinion. I think they'd rather have Hal because that means if they lose games, so be it. You get Caleb Williams next year and then that ruins us. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I think Jacoby Brissett is more just insurance. Um, I don't know what they're trying to do. They're another team that just doesn't know what they're, they're doing. They're questionable. Uh, I think they could take Will Levis, like you said. It, unfortunately, when you brought that up to me, I said, oh, that's kind of kind of feels like a perfect move for them. Yeah, but, like, but, all quarterbacks go to die there, so I'm, yeah. I'm fine with that. I think overall I'd give their free agency a C. I gave it a C, too. Nothing positive. NFC North, Chicago Bears. So they had a they started great off, off They season. started off really hot, kind of slowed down. Um, but they got Deontay Foreman. I like that. Good depth behind uh Khalil Herbert, who will likely be their starting running back, yep. brought in P.J. Walker so that if Fields were to go down, they have another guy that kind of could play like Fields so that they're not going to really miss a step other than the fact that Fields is insane. But, oh, yeah. He can't um, run like Fields. They brought in Robert Tanyan. I like that. Good depth next to Cole Stolen Komet. from the Packers. I like yep. it. Um, again, like I said, Cole Komet's gone. They brought in Nate Davis. I love that deal for them. Um, surprised the Titans didn't try to retain him, but... Um, yeah, Nate Davis, really good guard. They brought in Tremaine Edmonds, really big deal for him. Uh, he got paid. He His brother paid. is on the Eagles now. <laughs> yes, he is. Um, TJ. They brought in TJ. He's he from two Chicago. Linebackers now. So he went home. Happy for him. <clears throat> like I said, with we TJ. We need to talk about Mr. What's your room? We're getting there. We're getting there. You need to learn that I saved the best for last. All right, but just go. TJ Edwards. Um, yeah, I think that him and Edmonds are going to hold it down for them. Uh, and then obviously the biggest move, they trade the first overall pick to the Panthers for the ninth pick uh, in 2023, a second rounder this year, a first rounder next year, and a second rounder in 2025, and DJ Moore. Yeah, they stole him from the they, Panthers. I don't know what the Panthers... Absolute steal. I feel like... Listen, okay, realistically, I understand what the Panthers are doing. All right? Yes, uh, they want their quarterback of the future. Let, let's not act stupid. They want their guy. They don't want to just sit here and be like, oh, we'll just take whoever's left. They yeah. want their guy. And yes. CJ. Stroud. Listen, honestly, with the moves that I'm, we're going to talk about with the Panthers... They've had a honestly, great offseason, Honestly, I wouldn't even say that they're going to... I mean, listen, the first rounder next year is going to suck not having that. Um, we got Adam Thielen now. But... <laughs> <laughs> the way I look at it is they're going to have some um, some compensation picks, likely, mm-hmm. with some guys that will probably leave. Yes. Um, actually, wait. I don't know if, who they left this offseason. Let's just hope that – I hope that, that, they, that they do, for their sake. Yeah, but, yeah. Carolina. Um, yeah. DJ Moore, wide receiver one now in Chicago. They got a legitimate guy. DJ Moore is a stud. We've always talked about how he's underrated. Um, he's probably properly rated now. I think a lot of people know he's good. Um but yeah, I really like what they've done. I'd honestly give them for what for the position that they are in and the position that they did I say the position they are in? The position they were in and then the position, position they're, they're in now, now. Yes. I think it's an A. I give it an A too. I would say they had probably and that that trade. I would say they probably had the best offseason out of all thirty two NFL teams. It's possible. It's possible. But yeah, great stuff by the Bears. Detroit Lions. David Montgomery, three-year, $18 million deal. I actually Stole like that for them. For their, I, I like that for the Bears. Them. I think David Montgomery actually fits their system more. As Lost Jamal Williams, now. but I think Jamal Williams is a little old, overrated anyways. now. And I would I would say Montgomery's better than Jamal Williams. That's just my opinion. Yep. Uh, Alex Anzalone, I like he's that. Back. Bringing him back. Manuel Mosley, pretty underrated move. Solid if he guy. can stay healthy, he's a good corner. Cameron Sutton. I like that a lot. I like Stolen Cameron from Sutton the from that. Steelers. CJ Garner Johnson, one year prove it deal. Maybe they'll pay him after that. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously the best for last, Nate Sudfeld. <laughs> oh, God. I hate that guy. With the I hate that guy with the passion. You know why. <laughs> yeah, we know why. We don't have, we're why. not even talking about We got to grade the Lions. Oh, yeah. Um, I want to give them a solid just. B, I, I'm thinking B, 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 B. I'm thinking B plus because they got David like the Montgomery. They and I like the yeah the secondary really great moves and I think they're gonna be making the playoffs next year. Yep, Green Bay Packers. Production. They haven't done anything this year. They re-signed Rudy Ford, ex Eagle. Um, they're gonna be losing Aaron Rodgers. It's gonna be an F off season. Yeah, I'm gonna say F. <laughs> F. Their best deal was re-signing Keyshawn Nixon. I don't even know who that is. So F. he was the returner that was like insane for them. Um, All right, so F. 
All right, F for the Packers. Vikings, Alexander Madison is back. Yes, he is. CJ Ham is back. Yes, Garrett Bradbury's back. Garrett Bradbury's back. Marcus Davenport, one year prove it deal. I like it. Byron Murphy, I remember the report being that he got signed to a mega deal. It ended up being two years, <laughs> uh. 20, 22 mil. Uh, really good move for them, though. Uh, I think overall for them, I would give them a solid. I'm going to give them a B plus because they kind of went head. Nah, no, nah, I'm going to give it a B. I'm giving it a B minus. I, I, their signings are good and all that, but yeah, B. And they said B minus. Yes. All right, and then we have the Atlanta Falcons. They actually made some moves this year. Heineke. Um, they brought in Taylor Heineke. I like, I like it. it. It's a good backup, good player in general. Too. Yes, get rid of him. Or yeah. the Commanders. I hate. That he was on the Commanders yes. and he was doing well for them. Now he's with the yes. Falcons. I'm happy about Mac Hollins, underrated year for the Raiders. Um, he's actually pretty good for them. I'm sure he'll be an all Dude, right receiver for the Falcons. He should be getting paid $10 mil a year. That's cheap. Stole him. Huh? He should be getting paid $10 mil a year. He's going off. Oh, oh yeah. Mac Hollins yeah. probably should have gotten more he's than like just 2.5. He's like a stud. I don't understand that. He was like one of their best players of Raiders. Yeah. Um, John o. Smith, they got in a trade for a seventh. Uh, he, listen, he goes back to his head coach, or his offensive coordinator. Arthur, Arthur Blank. S- yeah. Smith. Or Smith. Arthur Smith. Who's Arthur, Arthur Blank's the owner. Uh, that's why. Yeah. Um, yeah. Goes back to his offensive coordinator from Tennessee, so I'm sure that he will play good. Part of me thinks that they might honestly make Hal Pitts play receiver at times. I just have this weird feeling. Yeah. Um, but they can have two tight end sets, and they still got Drake yeah, London yeah, yeah. and all the guys. Caleb McGarry, really like that, bringing him back, obviously. Um, pretty honorary for them. I'm really happy with the Chris Lindstrom deal. They yeah, had to bring him back. That's one of your best players on the team. You five years, 105. Paid. I'm happy for him. Good shit. Yep. Uh, Lorenzo Carter t- resigns on a two year deal. Giants David Onyemata, three year deal. Caden Ellis, three year deal. Mike Hughes, one year deal. Jesse Bates, four year deal. Cha ching. I didn't think he was leaving the Bengals in. He's like, I didn't think he was either. I just want to move think- to Atlanta, so that's what he did. I Good think the Falcons, him. they've realized that, okay, you know what? We've kind of been in this, this weird spot now where it's like we've kind of been rebuilding, but not really. I think they finally embraced the fact, okay, we're going to try to win some games. Yes. Um, good for them. And so I would probably give that. I'd probably give their offseason a, a B+. Plus. I'd give it a uh, mostly B. Mostly because they re-signed a lot of their key guys that they had to re-sign. i give it a B because, like, yeah, it's guys they already had and just re-signed. It, it's not like a lot of new guys besides Jesse Bates and Heineke. So, other than that, i give it a B. Now, now the Panthers. Panthers. These are the people that I think had an underrated offseason. Yes, they gave up a lot to get their quarterback. <laughs> That's the thing, though. It's their quarterback. They're getting their the goddamn one. I'm not talking about that one. That quarterback. They did get Andy Dalton. Good he, veteran. Good he guy. will be starting probably the first, like, two games, and then I think it will be C.J. Stroud's season. Why would C.J. not start with a game one? Because. That's just how it works with rookie quarterbacks. No, it doesn't. Yeah, huh? That's what happened with Baker. Baker went number one overall. What happened? He, Tyrod was starting. No, no. C.J. is ready to go. Um, okay. Miles Sanders, four-year deal. Good for him. He got paid. Um, I think they needed that. They needed some electric back there. Um, only issue is... You going to miss him? Yeah. I'm going to miss him as a person. Yeah. Not as a runner. Dude, he was electric. Dude, Dude, he's he... going to be electric for them. For us, the, he pissed me off way too much. <laughs> he had 10 plus touchdowns. I, there, I saw a whole compilation of him cutting it to the outside when the middle was wide open. Uh, Bro just doesn't like have good vision. That's my only thing I got. And about he's not him. even getting paid that much. I feel bad for him, but like whatever. Making I mean almost making thirty. I mean it's thirteen guaranteed. Regardless, they just recent or they just signed DJ Chark yesterday. One year deal. Love that for them. DJ Chark is underrated. He is a guy who I thought the Jags were gonna bring he just back after his ACL healthy. tear or whatever he had. Uh, Adam Thielen, they paid him. I like that for them as well. Adam Thielen. Good locker room guy. Good, good locker vet. room guy. Good veteran. Could be He's also a good blanket receiver. for Stroud. Yep. If they get Stroud. I think they get Stroud. Yeah, I think they um, get him. Hayden Hurst. Three years, 21 mil. Hayden Hurst has had such an interesting career. Yeah, he's Because he was off. drafted so old, but he has gotten so much money. Yeah. He's and making, he, he's a good tight end. He's getting some paydays. Yeah. Uh, Bradley Bozeman, they brought back their center. Um, they got Von Bell. I like what they've done, especially because they're going to get their guy. Um, so I'm actually, because they're going to get their guy, 
and I think that they've gotten him some weapons because let's be real after they got rid of DJ Moore what were the only thing we were seeing I mean the only things that we were seeing from like NFL on Fox and all those accounts was he's going to step into a to a locker room where his weapons are Terrace Marshall, LaVisca yeah, Chenault. But now they got those now, okay, guys. Now, now we're good. Now we're good. Um, yeah, I think Panthers are going in the right direction. They have they have the defense. Now they just kind of have to get their guy. So. I'm going to give it an A- minus for what they did. I like that. I, I You know, I, I can agree with that. A-. minus. New now Orleans Saints. This, Saints. Is a, this is a fun one. It's fun. Interesting. So they brought Derek Carr in. Four years, 150. He better be good. They better be good for them. Uh, I think Derek Carr is going to be good for them. I think they're going to make the playoffs. I think they're actually going to win the division. Well, that division, yeah, it's pretty crappy. Well, they should win that division. They should win. <laughs> um, you never know, though. Yeah, Jameis Winston, one year, four mil. Considering the, the way he talked about himself last year, I'm surprised he went back. I he, thought he was kind of upset with how they handled the situation. Um, well, he but just I guess he's, he he's accepted at this, I think at this point he's accepted the fact that he's a backup. Yeah. Um, and he's also a backup that can make almost – Eight mil in one year, but that's probably if he were to have to play. Yeah, he have to play and like, um, reach all these incentives. Bro's gonna be sitting on the sideline. Please, please get hurt. They um, got Jamal, Jamal Williams. He's, I like that. He's pretty good. Not they got the bad deal. elusive guy with Alvin Kamara, and now the power yeah, back. I like that. Three years, twelve mil, twelve mil in three years. That's like pretty dang cheap. Yeah. What is that? Three point five. It's four. Wait, yeah, what? I'm, I'm dumb. 12 by back uh, three. Yeah, yeah, Four right. milli, baby. Uh, Michael Thomas, one year, 10 mil. I'm not going to say much. He hasn't been healthy. Uh, he's probably not going to stay healthy. Hey, believe, man. Jawan Johnson played really good for them. Penn State, Oregon legend. Yes, sir. Jawan <laughs> yes, Johnson could be good for them. Um, they had a solid offseason. Uh, There's a lot some, of depth players. Yeah, a lot of depth pieces. And obviously some tackles. Kalen Saunders and whatnot. I give it a B plus. Nathan Shepard. I give it a B plus. Getting your franchise quarterback. Hopefully he could be a winner and win a division. You got Michael Thomas back. Yeah. You brought in Jamal Williams. I'll give it a B plus. Yeah, B plus. You got a solid offseason. Buccaneers. They brought back Jamal Dean yes. on a four-year deal. I love that for them. And that's a guy you got to keep in there. Yep. Brought in Chase Edmonds. Just kind of a guy that's just kind of a backup at this point. Um, they have... Levante David, or they re-signed Levante David. I like that he's back, showing like that, that he's back. He, he wants to retire we, a Buccaneer. We need, uh, we need to find people that are loyal to us like they are, or like he is loyal to the Bucks. Well, he got drafted by them and everything. That's he why. is so, no, I'm just saying, he's loyal to them. Oh, yeah, well, it's Tampa I mean, in the Bay. Direction, he doesn't in want the, to move. In the direction they're going, though, it looks like they're probably going to start. They're probably rebuilding a little bit, because yeah. now you got Baker Mayfield. <laughs> Starting. Um, <laughs> One-year deal worth up to $8.5 million. Listen, you never know a Baker. He, yeah. could, he could probably come he's, out and do some little crazy he's stuff. He's a Ooh. bust. You know, I, I don't see much of him. All right, Arizona Cardinals, also known as the Arizona Eagles. Um, Corey Clement, Zach Pascal, Kaiser White. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, they brought in a lot of the ex-Eagles players. They've um, had a Zach Pascal, I like okay that for them. Season. They needed a receiver like Pascal. I'm gonna um, give it a C plus. Looking at the moves yeah, that they C brought, plus, not C like plus. any like superstar star players. And the Rams pretty much had a crappy C plus. Offseason. Their best, the Rams' best player that they brought in was the backup tight end from the Jalen Ramsey team, <laughs> Hunter Long, and they got a uh, re-sign Coleman Shelton. They don't have that much cap space right now, so that's why they didn't make that many moves. Now the Niners say they wait. Had, what? Back to the Cardinals. We didn't grade any of these. <laughs> oh, we didn't. No. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I don't even know. We graded the Saints. Yeah. All right. Bucks, I give it a C+. Plus. C+. Plus. I'm going to give this a – I think they have a few good signings, but other than that, it's a C+. Plus. C+, plus for the Cardinals as well. F, Rams, F I – for the Rams. I give even it a though D. there's not much they can do. I give it a D. Getting that Ramsey contract off the table, give it a D. 49ers, uh, they brought in Sam Darnold. Wouldn't be surprised if he plays to begin the season. Uh, with how their guys yeah, have Yeah, I like injury. that move a lot for Darnold because he's going in a system that can help, you know, his career. And if he can outplay those other quarterbacks, he might be the starter. But we All don't right. know that. Yeah, um, they brought in John Feliciano. <laughs> Man, uh, Cleveland Farrell. Javon Hargrave got paid. He got paid. He's got four years well with that D-line, mil. though. So, yeah, good for um, him. Yeah, he fits well with the D-line. Really good at pressuring the quarterback. They do have to get somebody next to him to stop the run because that's not really what his thing is. They got um, Kinlaw. 
he, he, I've seen I have a nice fan that said he's probably gonna be off the team after this. Oh uh, come on, Kinlaw. I know. Yeah, I thought he was gonna be so good. Yeah, but he just I don't know what. He's happened. gotta prove it here. Maybe he could do something. Maybe. Like, um, and then pretty much other than that, they got that, a that kicker. A, they replaced think, Robbie Gold with yeah. Zane Gonzalez. I think that with the Javon Hargrave signing and the Sam Darnold signing, I like those. I'll give them a solid C plus. I don't think they've done anything. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, those were two. I'll give B minus, B minus, because Javon Hargrave, B minus. I think yeah, I was thinking B minus because Darnold Hargrave, and I like the Zane Gonzalez move. You're getting a kicker to replace Robbie Gold, so yep. B minus, B minus. And the last but not least. The Seattle Seahawks brought back Drew Locke. Good backup. Good for uh, him. Resigned Gino, three year, seventy five mil. He got paid. Good for him. I don't know if he should deserve that contract. Yes, he should. If Daniel Jones deserves his, he deserves that. Nah, um, Draymond he's a Jones. Though. Really like Draymond Jones. Obviously, the ex Bronco. Um, three years, fifty one mil. They needed that. Um, and then he's, they brought in Devin right. Bush on a prove it year. Draymond Jones, in my opinion, he, he, he's good. He's not um, special, Devin Bush though. prove it year. Julian Love. Okay. Um, Giants legend. I think overall they get a B. I'm minus. giving them a B minus. Minus. You're done. We're done. That's it. <laughs> he, he just he just plopped in his bed. He's like, man, that was like an hour and ten minutes of free agency reactions. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Uh, maybe we'll do a mock draft coming soon. I don't know when, but coming I soon. Mean, we're gonna record it right now. Coming but... soon to theaters. Um. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this free agency reaction video. If you did like this video, subscribe to the Benchwire channel. Make sure you go follow our socials, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. We got it all in the link tree down below. And we'll catch you guys later. Benchwire! Oh.